Welcome back. It is Fur Baby Friday. We have the Humane Society of Eastern Carolina in studio with us, Morgan May, with this beauty. So, this is, um, I'm a little bit biased because I have had her in my home for nine months. Um, one of my favorite fosters, one of my favorite dogs, probably of all time. Um, this is Miss Chibata. She has been in the Humane Society's care for over a year. She is about a year and four months old, um, and we do still have two of her siblings. Um, a lot of people know about the bread litter. It was 17 puppies that we got in. Um, she's a part of the bread litter, so she is Chibata bread. And sometimes I just call her the bread girl. <laughs> she has many nicknames from Chibata, Squatta, Cheeberton, um, Chibert Bata. So many different names, and she is just an absolute snuggle bug. She loves yes. you so much, and I will say like, <laughs> When it comes to doing this segment, I usually like to go finding ways that the dog is most comfortable. And the absolute winner is us on the floor with her in your lap and just snuggling. You see her tail going, and this is just her at her best. And I mean, why don't we talk about things that viewers should be aware of if they're considering adopting her? Because you have had her for nine months. What are some things that it sounds like just with some consistency and some training won't be an issue for long. Yeah, so um, Chibata is um, a little bit more on the special needs side. Her and her siblings um, do have a little bit of neurological issues um, in different ways. Um, she was on anxiety medication when she came into my home. She needed it in the shelter, um, and she definitely is a very anxious pup. Mm -hmm. Since she's been in my home, we've been able to wean off of the anxiety yeah, medication awesome. and make a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. uh, the first day she got to my house, she was so scared. She jumped, she panicked and jumped on my kitchen table, and then panicked that she was on the kitchen table, and then just like ran to another room. Um, she also would not come out of her crate. Uh, we had to like hide from her and just open the doors so that yeah. we could let her straight out. Um, since then, she has come around. We've gone to the beach together. We've gone to the river. I've taken her to a family party before, um, and she's really come a long way. Mm -hmm. But she d still does have her, her moments. Um, she yeah. is a pretty nervous pup when she goes in new places. You can tell she's yeah. a little bit glitchy and kind of shaky. Yeah. Um, she can be very, very mouthy. It is simply out of play. Um, she just really doesn't know what's going on sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so she's an absolute goofball. Um, she loves other dogs when they are the right play style for her, but she likes to play rough. She's a young big dog, so pretty much anyone so that wants to wrestle with her. Mm -hmm. She plays with my other foster puppy, and when they get tired, um, they'll just lay on the couch and then chew on each other's faces because they love each other. Um, and she has played with a smaller dog before, but she does play pretty rough, so they've got to be up for that. Yeah, and I will say that just in the time that I've known her, just today, like in the beginning of the day, she, well, the beginning of the time that she came in here, I was trying to make nice and be friends with her because I'm a dog fanatic, and she was very timid of me, and now you see her licking my hands, and that just shows that she's gotten very, very comfy in this environment. And I, I really think that a lot of the stuff that you were talking about is just all about giving her consistency. She really a, needs a, a good routine and just time to decompress. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, that's what it really took with me. I, it's crazy to think about the dog that she was when she first came into my home versus who she is now. Mm -hmm. it would, just with me, I consider her a relatively normal dog. Um, she is crate trained and she's house trained. Um, oh, wow. So in the crate, uh, the only thing that really sets her off, um, new people, when she hears them come in, she mm -hmm. will start barking in the crate, but <laughs> she does get over it very quickly. And typically, if I'm just like, Chibata, that's enough, yes. um, she's quiet. And the school bus and garbage truck, when she hears them coming, oh, of course. Um, she does get upset it's about that. But regular cars and trucks, she's fine with. So you don't have to worry about it too much. <laughs> just the school bus and the garbage she's, truck. She's just a ham. I think she's amazing. She, and I as you can <laughs> see, just wants to be like inside your Loved. skin, attached to me at all times. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, uh, this is the type of thing where it's a little tough for them to stay, you know, super still for too long. She's and getting comfortable now, so she wants to oh, go yeah. say hey to all her friends. <laughs> so we have a few events that we want to go letting you know about, and first one is actually this weekend. Yeah, so Sunday you can come out and see us, and it is the first Sunday of every month at Uptown Brewing Company. Um, it's a dog walk and adoption day. It's from 3 to 5. We'll have some pups out there and some other information about how you can help us. And then we have another event coming up next weekend, a little ways out, but we just want you to know about it so you can mark your calendar off and really prepare to be there. Yes, yeah, so we are very excited about this for all of our Winter Winterville peeps and anybody else wanting to participate. We have puppy yoga hosted by the lovely Julia Petrasso. We have lots of puppies available for adoption now, so they will be out there. It's a minimum $20 donation to participate, and then um, Naughty Dog will be also giving a dollar 
for every beer sold to the Humane Society. Oh, wow. And then we also have an ongoing thing going for the month of November that we want to let our viewers know about. Yeah, so if you go to our Facebook page or our website, you can check out Lynch Creek Farms Fundraiser where we get 15% of all the proceeds. They've got some great fall things, um, some great Christmas wreaths. I personally got one last year. My mom bought me one. Um, and it was fresh and green all the way up until February, and then it was just a little dull. It stayed in my house for so long because I was like, it looks too good to throw away right wow. now. So I definitely recommend going ahead and ordering. That's amazing. And then uh, something to let people know about if they uh, are state employees, you can actually go donating to the Humane Society of Eastern Carolina. Yeah, so if you're a part of state employees um, credit union and stuff, you can are a state employee, um, you can find a way to participate and give a donation to us. Very cool. And then, of course, we've been mentioning these last two for a, a bit now, but they're ongoing. And with the weather getting a little cooler, uh, never been a better time to go getting some new bed sheets. Yeah, so um, our bed sheet fundraiser is ongoing. I know quite a few people that have now ordered and actually think that they are amazing sheets. If you're looking for a Christmas present or you just need to replace your sheets, it's a wonderful way to support the Humane Society. And then this next one, once again, getting a little chilly out there. And, of course, we want to go bundling up for uh, you know, helping puppies. Yeah, so um, Humane Society does sell merch. So if you wanna check out our website, our bonfire store, we've got some really cool t-shirts, hoodies. Um, winter season, you wanna check out our hoodies. If you're a Swifty, we've got some Taylor Swift inspired merch and we're coming up with some more um, as we speak, so. And we do have some events and things to let you know about for the month of December, which you can of course go checking out on our website. But now getting back to Chibata, who do you think would be the ideal home for her? Um, oh, I think <laughs> she's ready to go. Say quick. She said, I saw myself on the TV. Let's go. Just... Okay. Perfect home for her. <laughs> Chibata is perfect home. Would be either a couple or a single person. Have her over she... here. <laughs> she said, I just wanted to stand up. She just wants to move. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Um, there we go. Much Chibata's better. Chibata's ideal home would be um, a couple or a person um, that just really has a lot of time that they're willing to spend on letting her adjust. Um, she probably doesn't want any other kids in their home. She would probably be fine with dogs, and we do plan on cat testing her today because oh, cool. I think she could potentially be good with a cat. Um, and obviously the Humane Society always does meet and greet, so we'll be able to tell if she's going to be a good match for your pup but just someone that's willing to give her all the love she deserves. Yes, that's for sure. Once again, this is Chibata. She's looking for her forever home. She is a hammy ham. Just wanting to find that forever home with somebody special. And if it's you, head on over to the Humane Society of Eastern Carolina and put in that application. We have additional information about her as well as events over at WITN.com. And we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> 